if you change something, we will do the scheduling all over again. For example, if a tool breaks, there's one less sister tool available. Maybe it had a lot, lot of life left. It will impact on the whole schedule. The MMS does it again and, and see that can we keep with the current plan or do we have to modify? So in order that no matter what happens, the spindle keeps turning. I'm joined by Matty from Fastems, who is a resident expert in the MMS, which is the Manufacturing Management Software System. Talk me through the process, what it does and how it helps the machine shop. Yeah, so first it's, it's about automation and it's about managing resources. Uh, we have a, our system is capable of scaling depending on the needs of the factory. In, in our example here, we have two machine tools connected to a simple system with a small storage. Okay, when you say scaling, so it could be a machine shop with one or two machines or it could be a huge great machine shop with a hundred? I think our biggest customers are with up to 50 machine tools connected. Okay, so and all different machine tool, tools I'm assuming? Can be different, different machine tools. Okay. Dif different other uh, devices as well. Washing right. machines, robots, Whatever. So they could be deburring, they could be welding, welding, they could be doing anything? Yes. Welding, not typically. Deburring, more often, yes. Okay. So what's the actual process with this system and how does it benefit your machine shop? So if you want to go up with the spindle utilization, standalone machines are typically around 30%. 30%? Yeah, as low as that. But when you start to add up on automation, you will get into the higher 50s. And to reach above, you will need something like tool automation and then the real value would be 80% is starting to be really really well already. And you want to get up to the full 8760 as in your logo? Yes. So full automation throughout the world, through, it's been running the whole year essentially? Yes. So how does this system help that? And, and uh, well, because it's all about management resources. What MMS does is tells everyone that what to do and when to do. Starting from the tool room operator who has no access to the system, doesn't know anything what the machines are doing, but he will have the instructions that please prepare these tools for this machine. NC programmers know that they need to, they can, they can use the functions in the MMS to see that how their NC programs are behaving. If there are lots of errors in the program, maybe the process needs to be uh, smoothened out a bit. All right, so this will actually work without, so it's more of a CAM system as well almost? No, not quite. But you will have the insights that tell you that if you have a certain NC program giving you troubles, if you have certain tools giving you troubles more often than others, maybe there is a problem with the tool life. Maybe maybe your tool parameters are a bit too optimistic. You, that's typical because you want to, as a as an as an factory operator, you want to squeeze as much from the tool from the from the cutting edge as you as you can. But too much goes. It's a it's yeah. A putting too much pressure. On. Yeah, it's a counterproductive because yeah. then you will get tool breakages which okay. cause a problem in the process. Okay, but this is, you say it's about tool breakages, which you obviously want to avoid. Yes. But if there's tool breakages, this will identify it and also manage it as well, or, and, and identify new tooling needs to be ordered, for example. Exactly. Okay, very quickly then, this is essentially going to run your whole, help you run your whole machine shop. Yes. So I get an order in, and then what happens? Then we would take a look at the order, that w what, for what part, what NC program, what tools, and especially when it's needed and how many parts. We, we take the fixtures, available machine tools, factory calendars, shifts, how many operators are available, all that, and we calculate and present the result that we are estimating that this order would be ready now in, in two days. Two days? Yeah, for example. As an example? It could be anything. It, if it's a big order, it could be next year. Okay, but this could be a batch run of one, up to thousands, and, and combining yeah, all sorts of different yeah, jobs. Yeah, from one to two. Almost limitless. Okay, and what sort of length of time is this, will this schedule over? So if I've got a machine shop, I want to keep it running. I can go out a day, a week, a month. How far can I schedule out? Yeah, we are doing the fine scheduling for up to 96 hours. And then uh, more, more course scheduling for order broker estimates for up to one year. Up to one year? Up to one year. Wow, okay. So say, I mean, engineers or the customers, they, you know, you've got it all nicely scheduled. Yep. I need a sudden change plans, I need it tomorrow. It's going to mess everything up here? If you change something, we will do the scheduling all over again. For example, if a tool breaks, there's one less sister tool available. Maybe it had a lot, lot of life left. It will impact on the whole schedule. The MMS does it again and, and see that can we keep with the current plan or do we have to modify? 
So in order the no matter what happens, the spindle keeps turning. That's exactly what we want to hear. Yeah. Keep, keeping that spindle turning. So what about in terms of say stock holding and tool holding and things like that? It works all out, all out for you. Yep. Yeah, we, it will basically tell you that in these 96 hours you will need exactly this amount of tools in any given machine. Okay, and then, so you've got it all running and everything like that. Anything else we can add to it? Sounds like, I mean, obviously, clearly clear, a great system. Yeah, but for example, if, if you have many machines with lots of tool usages, you can add, uh, for example, tool automation on top of that. Then you don't have, have to have the operators working with the tools. We will have a robot delivering. Right, so really, ultimately, get this system. You could be heading towards that perfect eight, seven, 60 hours per, yeah. per year. And from a simple F FPT to a like, fully loaded uh, MLS system with, with tool automation and, and, and robots doing and let's the loading. Just, let's just clarify, the FPT, what, was it, what is it's that? It's a flexible pallet tower we have here on the, okay. on the show. And, and the MLS? MLS, a multi-level system. Okay, so automating your machine shop, making you a whole lot more efficient. Absolutely. absolutely. Matty, that's absolutely great. So the MMS, FPT, and the MLS. Yes. Thank you very much, Matty, great. Thank you.